active shooter is a phrase that unfortunately has become part of our vocabulary in recent years. In response to the many inquiries we have received, the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department has created a video to address what options an individual might consider should they ever have the misfortune to encounter an active shooter. While it's impossible to create guidelines for every situation, the video does provide many tips that could save lives. Here are some excerpts from the 15-minute video. According to a 2007 article in Law Enforcement Technology, it is nearly impossible for law enforcement to predict if and when another shooting incident will happen. If an individual, a team, or group of people have their mind set on taking human lives and they keep their plans secret, most likely they will be able to carry out the event. The vast majority of active shooters are under the age of 30. This proves very difficult to develop a profile for an active shooter. Young people are difficult to profile because they are still developing both psychologically and emotionally. After the initial shots are fired, you may hear more gunfire with screaming or other signs of a problem, such as people running, doors slamming, and most probably yells for help or for the police. Did you hear that? <laughs> Statistically, the workplace is the most common setting for an active shooter event. The question becomes how well prepared is your business, school, or entity? How prepared are you? In no particular order, each of these could be a life-saving response. It is equally important to realize that one or more of these responses may not work for you. Running may be an option for many, however running may very well not be a viable option for everyone. Fading out of the shooter's line of sight may very well increase your odds of survival rather than standing out in the open. Fortifying a hiding spot may also provide a greater chance of survival. The key to surviving such an incident may be creating time and distance between you and the location of the shooter. Running is instinctual, and for many this will be the initial reaction. Are you aware of your surroundings enough to know where to run? Are you familiar with all access points in your school or business? Are the staff and students aware of entrances and exits to the facility? Has your business or school run a drill to determine if personnel can successfully evacuate the premises in a timely manner. Come on, come on. Cover is a term used to mean you're hiding, and the structure you're hiding behind will not be penetrated by the shooter's ammunition. Cover is superior to concealment. Pre-planning should help you determine places of cover and concealment within your building. The environment can provide many weapons. A fire extinguisher could be used to hit an active shooter, or the chemical spray inside the fire extinguisher may incapacitate someone. Even if the police are notified that the shooter is dead or incapacitated, Help. the police will move toward the location of the shooter. Individuals within the area of the active shooter will undoubtedly be looking for rescue from the responding officers. If you would like to have the video, Flee, Fade, Fortify, or Fight, presented to your community group, workplace, or school, contact your community interaction officer. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week.